Hey, what is up everybody? 420 Guitar here coming to you with another video. This video is about Ghost Recon Wildlands Season 2 Week 3 Challenge. And this is a tutorial slash walkthrough, uh, basically giving you some information on where I found some of the points at to complete these missions. Um, so let's get right into it. So for Week 3, um, the first solo mission, we're actually going to have to go into San Mateo and defeat the Santa Blanca uh, ground vehicles, eight of them using mines. So we need to go in there and destroy any of the ground vehicles using mines. Uh, secondly, we'll be going to Tabacal, uh, destroying four helicopters using C4 without dying at all. Um, and they will be Santa Blanca helicopters we're destroying. Third and final, we will be going to Espiritu Santo and Villa Verde uh, to destroy Santa Blanca generators. And that will be four of them. And you cannot kill anybody when you're doing this at all. Um, on the third solo mission and when you complete these this is going to be your prize and the prize it's pretty badass it's a super uh, super cool gun it's super powerful um, it's the 6P41 Reaper um, as you can see the damage is pretty high actually is decent uh, the range is really good for this kind of a gun uh, the penetration is great it goes through the tin it goes through the wood it can go through brick um, so it's definitely a super badass strong gun and uh, that will be your prize for completing this week's uh, solo challenge and so what we're gonna do we're gonna start out in San Mateo and this is going to be at San Mateo Alpha and if you look underneath San Mateo Alpha down towards the right um, you will see La Carcel del Pueblo and at this spot you're going to be able to complete solo mission number one um, There are several uh, cars down here that you can destroy with your mines and I think there's roughly maybe like 10 cars or something so there's definitely enough cars. This is the spot to do it um, there are going to be two entrances and what we're going to do is go to one of the two entrances we're going to end up going to both the entrances uh, what I like to do is spot these people and go ahead and get my guys on killing them so we can get through without having too much hassle um, so once you go ahead and get your guys spotted and you get your guys killed um, head down to your um, entrance right there and if you take a look here as we're coming up there's going to be three cars on the side here there's going to be two trucks and a car um actually i guess three trucks anyway three ve vehicles um you can go ahead and just set your mines down i went ahead and called in a chopper so i can fly back over to the other um entrance because it just saves some time um so i went ahead and called my chopper in and when you're ready, you can just shoot your mines and they will destroy the cars um, next to them. And um, right there is three cars right off the top. It took less than like four minutes to figure this part out. Um, sometimes it will be a little bit harder depending on if all these guys are actually attacking you or not. Um, so once you finish that, anyway, go to the next um, entrance there. And you, you can see some mountains on the back side. Um, that is actually where we're going to try to land. Um, once you land back here, I go ahead and do my rebel spotting so I can uh, start doing the process over again, um, which is marking the guys, taking them out, and uh, so on and so forth. But the reason why we like to land on the back here is because if you take a look and you run down this hill, you can actually go directly into the camp without having to go through the front and uh, it's pretty simple it's pretty easy um, it's pretty quiet people don't really see you um, go ahead and work your way around this building and as you can see those cars right there there's two cars to your left and two cars in front of you um, right to the cars to the left there's actually going to be this ammo box and um, <clears throat> make sure that you get your ammo because I don't know how many mines you guys can hold but I can hold two um, which is not a whole lot but two should be working good for two cars and again there's two cars over by the gate and there's two cars over by where we just came in sometimes there's a fifth car inside of this garage so it's possible to get all eight in just these two spots um, once you're ready go ahead and shoot your mines and you will destroy the other vehicles um, what I have done is when I went back to re-up for my mines, uh, because that was making seven or whatever, uh, just for continuity sake here, um, I went ahead and put 
a mine outside of the front of the gates and I'll put a mine right here. That way when the um, backup comes, they get blown up, the guys up the hill here, and then whoever's coming in through this gate here is gonna get blown up as well. As you can see, they just got destroyed. And if that's not enough cars for you um, to get your challenge done, you can always head up this hill here. And I believe there's probably about four more cars up in here. Um, so I think there's like 10, 12 cars around here or something like that. And there's a couple more for you right here that you can destroy if you need to. Okay, so that takes care of the eight vehicles. Next, we're gonna be moving to Tabacal um, to destroy four Santa Blanca helicopters with C4 and not die at all. So um, that's uh, pretty, pretty easy. Um, if you see this Bella Selva um, in Tabacal, that's a place where you want to try to go first. Um, I mean, you can go wherever you want, but this is going to be really easy. Um, go ahead and do some spotting. Check out the place. Once you actually um, get this done in Bella Selva, as you can see, um, you can see these two choppers pop up. And they are Santa Blanca choppers. What you want to do is just go ahead and go over to the Santa Blanca choppers and set your C4 on them and get ready to explode them. And how you know they're Santa Blanca is you could just walk up to them and it does say Santa Blanca helicopter. And um, just plant your C4. Go ahead and find the next chopper. Uh, when you go over to this next chopper, you should be able to just wait for a second and nobody will be around. So you can sneak up there and do it without having to kill anybody. Um, that way it definitely saves you from getting killed because this has to have no deaths when you destroy all four of these helicopters. Um, so you can go ahead and destroy them whenever you want and then that will take care of those two helicopters So you will have two down and you will have two to go um, There are several places that you can find these helicopters I'm just going to give you a few places that I found this is another outpost here And as you can see this helicopter right here, there's going to be a giant radio tower um, You want to come on the side of this giant radio tower here um, on this outpost and this is on the upper northeast side of Tabacal and um, it is an outpost again you can see this uh, helicopter up there and uh, this giant radio tower and that satellite um, once you're up here you can pretty much get up here and uh, throw your C4 down without any issues at all um, once you're done there go ahead and run away explode it uh, do whatever you want to do uh, just don't die when you're uh, trying to do these or you'll have to start over um, again this is an outpost Santa Blanca outpost um, here in Tabacal and there is going to be another place this is the SNPC freight yard uh, run by Santa Blanca and this is in Tabacal as well um, this is going to be a pretty decently easy place to go ahead and destroy another helicopter um, these guys there's not too many of them down here and the people are they're not super tough um, again there's a location right there and um, just make sure that you know where these guys are at so they don't catch you by surprise or anything like that because it always sucks having to start over again when you're trying to do one of these missions um, I did have to start over on the next mission um, which I messed up I didn't know that I was messing it up but something happened anyway so you want to go ahead and destroy this guy right here and um, blow up that chopper once that chopper's blown up that's four of them for you and there are other places that you can find them um, but that's just a few places that I did find them so hopefully it helps and next and last we'll have Espiritu Santo and Villa Verde we got to destroy four generators of Santa Blancas without killing anybody and again you cannot kill anybody at all. Once you start this third mission, do not shoot, do not knock anybody out, don't do anything. Just go directly to these places and um, destroy them. So as you see, we were just at the rally point there. Um, there's an outpost right underneath, uh, right underneath the outpost. I mean, right underneath the rally point. So if you go there, <coughs> You can run your uh, dr drone or binoculars, do whatever you want to do. Um, basically, this is just showing you a place where there is a generator. Um, you can do the generator. Make sure nobody's around the generator when you destroy it. Um, and as you can see, this is the exact spot where the generator is at, so you can know where to land, so you can come around and get it. 
Uh, make sure nobody's around it so you don't kill anybody by accident. Um, if you do, you will have to start over again. And so this next spot right here um, is Espiritu Santo base. And as you can see where I'm at, this is exactly where um, the next generator is at. You can come from the mountains, you can come from over on these uh, street over here, whatever. Um, but uh, I'm showing you exactly where the generator is. This one's a little harder to get to. You can go down there and do something. But I just came up top and went ahead and threw my frag down. Um, so it would destroy it. We did get that destroyed. So that's two down in Villa Verde. Villa Verde is next. That was Espiritu Santo. Um, there's a place right here, the illegal pyrolucite mine. Um, this does have a generator. There's a couple other places. Uh, as you see, La Marquez or whatever, you can actually um, fast travel there and then just come down to this illegal spot right here. Um, there's a generator right here. And once you find the generator, um, there might be a couple guys around it. So if you get over to the generator and there's a couple guys around it, uh, there's a few things you can do. You can try to wait for them to leave. You can actually, I went ahead and used my noisemaker uh, to try to get him far enough, farther, uh, far enough away from the generator. So when I destroy the generator, it doesn't kill the guy. Because again, if you kill anybody in here, um, when you're doing these generators, um, on this third solo mission, it will start you over back at zero. So I went ahead and moved him with the uh, noisemaker, and once he's far enough away, I use my drone to go ahead and destroy the um, generator. And um, I went ahead and took off after that. And last but not least is this spot right here. It's an outpost, Santa Blanca outpost. And as you can see where I'm at, then that um, lightning bolt lightning bolt is that that's where the generator is so that's where you should um, try to land or actually get close to and again you always want to check around to make sure that nobody's around when you destroy this thing otherwise you will have to start over and that is four spots for the generators um, so that's a few spots for you hopefully it helps out you don't have to use these spots but um, it is a few spots that I found that were fairly easy to go ahead and complete these um, missions. And so again, once you have all of these missions completed, um, you will have your new um, machine gun here. And uh, it, again, it's, it's pretty badass, it's pretty powerful, um, it's super cool, it's pretty killer. It's got these crazy designs on it, it's like a spine that's going down the side of it, it's, if you can see that, it's got a spine. Uh, it's got that crazy uh, face right there. Um, it's the Reaper, so it does have the scary face. Uh, 6P41 Reaper, and again, the damage is really high. Accuracy, range is good. Penetration is probably the best thing about this gun. Anyway, that is my uh, tutorial. I hope it does help, and again, I hope you guys, if you don't choose to do it this way, I hope you find your own way. And again, thanks for watching. Hope it helps. Peace.